Hi, my name is Nitsan Gadish and I work for Analog Devices MEMS and Sensor Technology Division. I've got a demonstration here today to showcase the vibration immunity of our latest gyroscope technology. Analog Devices has recently introduced a quad mass sensor technology that provides high resistance to vibration in our gyroscopes. The technology is present in all of our new gyroscopes. These include the ADXRS 64X series, the ADXRS 45X series, and all of their automotive counterparts. The demo here has got two gyroscopes mounted on a rotating platform. When I rotate the platform, you can see here on the screen that these are in fact gyroscopes and that they respond in the same way to rotation, meaning that this is a fair comparison between the gyroscopes. Like good gyroscopes, these do respond to rotation. What good gyroscopes shouldn't respond to is linear acceleration. So if I apply a little bit of linear acceleration here in the form of a small shock, you can see that the analog device's gyroscope output on the top here hardly responds to the shock at all, while the competing gyroscope on the bottom, its output sometimes bounces rail to rail and sometimes even continues to ring for a long time. In truth, all, all gyroscopes will respond somewhat to acceleration or vibration. The problem is that the system or the algorithm can't differentiate between gyro output due to rotation and gyro output due to an error like acceleration. So when a system sees an output change, it just assumes that the system was rotating. So when your output is bouncing rail to rail, your system can't tell if something's rotating really fast or if it just experienced a little shock. The less sensitive your gyro is to the shock or to acceleration, the more accurate your data will be and the better your algorithm will work. For more information on gyroscopes and other MEMS inertial sensors from analog devices, please visit www.analog.com/mems. Thanks for watching.